before I became so interested in art, I was a family physician uh, in Orlando, North Carolina. Uh, starting in uh, 1954 and finally retiring in 2004. But over half of my time I was uh, practicing medicine, I was also a painter. I had to paint on weekends and Sundays and uh, when I would get a chance. And so it was a real thrill to me after I retired to be able to paint every day. I always uh, enjoyed drawing from the time I was a 10 year old boy, drawing airplanes and boats, especially during World War II. And it led to watercolors, uh, which I started without any teacher in the 1970s. And then I was able to hook up with a very good watercolor teacher from Annandale, Virginia, and he inspired me very much to be a painter. And I painted in watercolors uh, from 1982 to 2001. And then I always wanted to try oil, so I stopped watercolor and started painting in oil, which I continued to do. I was most interested in watercolor from 82 until 2001, and then I decided I wanted to try oil, and that's what I've done since that time. And personally, I think my watercolors are more outstanding than my oil. They're harder to do and harder to frame, and that was one reason I switched to oils. But I really love both mediums. And I made so many close friends as a result of, of painting. And, uh, traveling with uh, a group that loved painting, and we didn't talk about business, politics, or family. We just talked about painting, and we'd stay together for a week at a time. And I've been to some wonderful places with my watercolor teacher. And uh, New Mexico and Virginia, North Carolina, and Maine, and one of the most exciting places was in Graham, at Grand Manan Island in the Bay of Fundy in, in Canada. And I uh, painted there twice and uh, felt it was so different than Eastern North Carolina that it was, every day was inspiring. It's just been a wonderful experience for me. When I gave up medicine, I missed it very badly. I missed my patient, my people. I love to talk to them. And, uh, but art, uh, feel that hollow space. And now I paint almost every day or frame or draw or something involved in art. And most of my reading is as a result of painting. You know, wait until somebody knocks on your door and says it was a big, good day to paint. You need to keep yourself stimulated by looking everywhere you go <clears throat> while you're driving or in a building. Look for something that you would like to paint, something that's interesting to you. And uh, I think that the secret to painting is learning how to look and understanding try to understand colors and values and shapes and be sure that you decide to paint the things that you love and not uh, necessarily something somebody else recommends or that's the reason I don't like commissions. I like to do what I enjoy.